makes me lose a lot of sleep. Igor, if you remember, is the fellow that sent in the uh, um, Stanley with a Primus, a hand cut Primus core. He even 3D printed the sidebar. I was not able to get that lock open. He shamed me. So anyway, I sent it to Chess Guy 125 who then opened it in like uh, four minutes. So I'll put the link to that um, uh, in the description if you want to see it. Uh, he did a great job. Fantastic skills in Chess Guy 125. Igor sent me this. He marked it Rehab. I think this is a mm, kind of a joke. Uh, it is a just a four pinner. I raked it open very easily. So, but the only reason I'm showing this is because it looks like the outer part had been machined away. I don't know if this is a partial cutaway, but it lets you see how really tough the bodies of a of a master locks are. These rivets, these steel rivets, go all the way through the bodies of these things. Just fantastic strength on the outside, not so much on the inside, but that's another story. Igor also sent an American 5200, and I think this might be a partial attempt to give me some of my confidence back. He marked it sleeper. Uh, he did send the key. Here's what the key looks like. So we got some pretty good bidding on this thing. It is a 5200. Alright, let's see if we can get it without losing too much sleep. Alright. Uh, American, we always use top to keyway. There we go. And because it does have a little bit of warding in there, but it's not too pair-centric, you can work from the bottom of the keyway if you get a 15 thousandths. And you guys, I get a lot of questions about what's the secret of American locks? There's, the only secret is light tension, and that's never more true than with one of Igor's challenge locks. All right, let me count these real quick. I'm counting five, so that's not a deception. All right, let's see if we can use very, very light tension and get into this thing. I touched pin five, I got a click. Pin four, I got a click. Three is not ready. Pin one, I'm getting a little counter rotation. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to get a click on him. Such light tension that the tension wrench is almost ready to fall out. Okay, I'm on pin one and getting the, again the counter rotation. Got another click out of him. So let's now see if we got another binder. On pin three, little counter rotation on him. Very slight. I got two clicks on him. That was an accident. And nobody else is ready. Pin five is back down, so I gave him a click. Huh. There we go. All right. Let's see what Igor, Igor put in here. It is not standard serrated pins. That I can tell you. Because we got some counter rotation. So maybe it's spool serrated. But if Igor sent it and he typed the word or put the word sleeper on it, you can be sure there's something unusual. Something fun, right? Come out of there. Okay, we could have bypassed it, but that's not the intent of a challenge lock. Okay, we do have a key, and it is a circlip. It's such a small circlip, though, unfortunately. I've got a whole bunch. I've tried on other Americans. I've got a whole selection of uh, circlip removers, but none of them are small enough for the American lock. <laughs> so, just my luck. <laughs> of course, it's made in China, so what do you expect? Maybe they don't have the American lock there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock this since we do have a key. I'm going to use a, something dangerous to remove the circlip. and the half moon okay nothing to it there's five pins right let's see what we got move him out of the way some of these cores are long enough to put six pins in but American is the last few years they changed that so that 
you can't put. They don't, you can't fit a six pin core inside of the new body. So a little bit shorter. All these are just standard serrated, but my flashlight. Get this thing to focus. Come on, baby. You'll notice that four of the five are serrated. All right. What do you got here, Igor? Okay, that first pin looks like there's a pin in there, way at the bottom. We'll worry about him later. I don't know why he would hang up there like that. Pin two seems to be okay. And he's kind of hanging. He's barely above the shear line. There's a really weak spring on him. Can't even get him to with the uh, tweezers. It is a just a regular serrated. Nothing special about that. Pin three also seems. Let me turn this thing upside down because those two just num pin number one and pin number three have are so far below the shear line. There may not be springs inside of there. That was three, and he is a serrated. Let me give a little bang. Maybe we can get number one to come out. One is a serrated. Then there's the tiny, tiny little spring in there. Amazing, Igor. So this one's a... Remember I said light tension? Obviously Igor capitalizing on that. Also number four, look at that. Just barely protruding above the shear line. That spring is so weak. And that is a spool with serrations on the end. Again, a stock one. And the last one, again, barely, oops, barely protruding above the shear line, but enough that I think we can get him with a pair of tweezers. And drop him. Where'd he go? That was here. Somewhere in here there's, oh there he is, he was serrated. Let me get these little tiny... Sh okay, I'm only counting three springs. And this is a half spring. This is a compressed spring, and this is a normal American. So one of these has no spring. Nothing. So, and I think it was number two, because we had to pop him out of it. Anyway, surprisingly, all factory pinning, or all factory pins, nothing homemade. The only thing modified were those pins, and that's a half spring. So tensioning was the key on this guy to get him open. Anyway, Igor, you've done it again. You kind of got me freaked out, to be honest with you. I probably can't open master locks after this. Jesus, thanks a lot for the confidence quote boost, unquote. <laughs> thanks, Igor, for the locks. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal.